was trying to figure out if compression packing cubes are better than vacuum seal bags. I've seen them all over TikTok and I'm going on a week-long trip to Europe soon with just a carry-on. I have a ton of clothes I want to pack, but I also want to optimize space as much as possible. The vacuum seal bags were a little sticky on the inside, but the directions basically said to just shove your clothes into the back, then seal it and roll it then up. Then the air would come out towards the bottom once you sort of push it down. I actually found there's this little clip that you slide along the seal of the bag to make sure it stays airtight. I repeated this with all my shirts, dresses, pants, and shorts. To actually make it super compressed, you definitely have to roll it up a couple times and push on it to make sure all the air is out. Once I finished rolling all three bags, I put them inside of a carry-on just to see what they would look like, and here they are. Next, I moved on to my compression packing cubes where I packed the same amount of clothes. The best hack that I've seen for this is actually folding your clothes to take up the entire surface area of the packing I cube. actually feel like I could have put even some more clothes inside of these packing cubes. I definitely have some more room at the top. Once I was done, I put them inside of a carry-on, and here's what it looks like. I actually like. think the packing cubes take up less space in my carry-on, plus we're easier to work with and pack in comparison to the vacuum seal bags. Packing cubes are the winner. For more travel tips, follow Shoe Buys Travel.